Welcome back, everybody, to some more Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. And we are ready to continue on with this British uh, campaign. Uh, I'm working on my ships right now. i got to take four ships into this next sea mission. And uh, we've got the HMS Hood, the Chimera, the Mills, and then we just captured the Batilde. And we're going to go ahead and name this one, even though it seems a little self-serving. I thought we'd name this one for our mascot, Nelson. So there you have it, even though I am Nelson in this case. so uh, But it'll work for now. Uh, we need to get some officers. We've got a Commodore available now. And I feel like I should probably put him uh, in charge of the Chimera. So let's go ahead and upgrade that there. We'll put this guy in the mills. And then we'll put... I guess we'll put this guy in charge of the Nelson. That's not too bad, I guess. All right. I want to get some muskets that have bayonets on them. Looks like this one will work. We've got 270 of those, and we're not going to get more than that on the crew anyway. There are a couple of things I want to do to change some of the guns. Uh, because most of these have the 12-pounder Armstrong's guns, which have pretty good penetration, even up to 500 yards. Uh, that's the main difference between the Armstrong's and the Borgard's guns. The Borgard's guns are actually more accurate, um, and they weigh less, which is actually really beneficial. But you can see, uh, as you look at the penetration, that they penetrate 20 at 500, and then they have kind of a steady drop-off. They're still at about 10 at or about 12 at around 700 yards. Borgard's guns have a big drop-off uh, once you get down past 250 yards. Uh, so they lose their penetration ability very quickly. Uh, so it's nice to have those Armstrong's guns because they get that extra penetration. However, for the, um, for the other set of guns, the, the upper deck, I'm thinking maybe I want to go to the 9-pounder Borgard's guns because they're more accurate and they cause more damage. Uh, they just don't cause as much penetration. So it might might be nice to have kind of a mix of the two. Uh, these do weigh the same as the others, or as the Armstrong's guns, so uh, they're a little more expensive. Uh, so if we do that, that's going to actually give us... Let's see. That was an extra 5,000. We've still got 43,000 in available money now. And we have some room for some upgrades on the hood as well if we want. But I'm going to start by adding to her crew. We're going to max out. Oh, we don't have enough weapons. So we can go up to 298 on the hood. Let's go ahead and do the same here. It's going to only cost 1173 to get them on the Chimera. Mills, how many of these do we have? Now we've got 90 uh, Still got 90 of them, so that's good. And then the Nelson. Can we go bigger than the 9-pounders on this thing? We can go 12-pounder Woolwich guns. How do those do? 10 damage, 1.65 on accuracy, 11 is what they weigh. Ugh. They're not very accurate, are they? 3.35 here. <clears throat> Excuse me, but... Again, the problem with the penetration at distance. I think we'll stick with the 9-pounder Armstrongs. And then we'll go to the 9-pounders here. Okay, so those are going to be our four ships. Now let's look and see. We've still got 38,000 available, so we could definitely do some more upgrades. Let's take a look at the hood. Hood's got lightweight gun carriages. Let's get boarding equipment. Oh, it's going to take some of our weight away. Although we could go, do we have light, lightweight gun carriages too? I think we might. Maybe not. I guess we don't. Okay, so we'll do those. Oh, it's still overloaded. Oh, we got to do this again. That's why. There we go. Chimera already fully decked out there we got lightweight gun carriages on the mills mills has a nice crew so i'd really like to get the boarding equipment on her wow that's 42 in weight 
it's going to cost me a lot of that crew. Makes me wonder if it's worth it. All right, we'll go ahead and do it. Well, what's the difference? What's that add? 5% damage taken and caused. Is that worth 40 members of our crew? I don't know that it is, although it does allow me to maneuver better too. So, all right, we'll do it. And then what else could we add? See, all of that hurts your capacity, your armor. All right, we'll stop right there for now. Now on the Nelson, we'll get the lightweight gun carriages, which gives us some extra weight. Nelson's got 245 crew. And then adding the boarding equipment pretty much negates my lightweight gun carriages, but that's okay. All right, so that's what we're going to go with. Let's take a look at today's mission. All right, here we go. As I, when I sent ships to escort a merchant in the Bermudas full of rum barrels, it seemed as an easy task. A simple rendezvous and escort slightly complicated by the multiple sandbanks in the area. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Who would have thought that the rebels would intercept our rum so boldly? Well, I don't know. Seems like a thing they would do. Uh, it seems that they did not yet have time to climb aboard, so we just need to distract them long enough until the merchant's crew set sail. Hopefully playing cat and mouse in the shallows will prove more difficult for the rebels than for us. Okay, so first things first, I want to make sure we keep an eye on where those shallows are. And then let's go take a look and see what we're facing. Whitby must reach the safe zone. I don't even see Whitby. Maybe it hasn't arrived. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So we've got to get Whitby back. We've got the Jean Bart, Ariana. Okay, so I think this should be a pretty easy task with what we have. Just going to take a little while for us to get there. All right, so we're going to try to draw him off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Nelson, which I think is probably my fastest ship, to go in and try to get the Whitby once Whitby gets on the other side of these guys. So if we can pull everybody else out and Whitby maybe stays back there somewhere, we can maybe sneak Nelson over that way. At least that's the plan. I guess we'll see if it actually works. As soon as Nelson gets on the other side of the sandbar, we'll start sending him over that way. Nice. Actually, let's try and do some chainsaw shot and see if we can do a number on this guy's sails. See if that'll do the trick. Do the same thing with Chimera, and then even Mills. We'll deal with sails for a little bit first. All right, let's see if we draw them out. All right, Nelson. This way. We're gonna try to come up and around this little sandbar here and come up behind. Grab the Whitby and then get Whitby heading out toward the... Oh, man, we already had somebody killed? Are you kidding me? Jeez, that was quick. All right, Nelson. Get over this way. Actually, I do want to come in between like this. All right, we're getting John Bart's sails pretty good. Now I want to switch over to solid shot. Ouch. All right, we're 
We're going to come back around this way now. Try to keep him on this side of me, if at all possible. Does look like he's going to allow Whitby to fall behind everybody else. I'm a little worried about what Jean Bart can do to Mills. Ooh, yeah, see that was pretty brutal. Come on, return fire, guys. What are we waiting on here? Alright, board this guy. Nelson. Coming around the sandbar. Come on, Mills. Turn into him. Let's get boarded. I'm keeping up with them to be able to board them. All right, this might hurt a little bit. Darn it. Jeez, this is not going well with Mills. Okay, Nelson's coming up by Whitby. That plan's actually working out beautifully. Mills is boarding. It's not going as well as I'd hoped so far. In fact, it's not going well at all. losing more men than they are. Darn it. I think we're going to lose the mills. We're taking out a lot of his crew, but we're also losing a lot of ours. Jeez. Alright, I'm going to put Chimera and hood on AI temporarily. We're about to lose the mills, but what I'm hoping I can do here... Oh, wow. Mills surrendered already? I wasn't expecting that. I thought they'd last a little longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Nelson... Actually, we're going to start trying to get Hood out of there. Get Nelson to take Whitby, and then we'll take what's left and try to go grab the Jean Bart and the Mills. If I can. Whitby's gonna be slow though. That's the problem. Mills sunk? Oh, jeez. Didn't see that coming. Sorry, Zach. About your ship. He's boarding the Chimera. We're going to lose. Oh, we might take the Ariana. Actually, maybe the way we're going to win this is to uh, just take all his ships. All right, we took them. All right, let's pause. I don't know if we have enough men to board him or not. I think 
No, we yeah, we do. Okay. All right, both of these guys just got to get out of here. Boy, we lost a lot of crew in this fight. All right, now we're going to bring the hood back this way. Nelson's about to board. Put him on AI so he can control the final stages of boarding there. No, no more chains. Go to solid shot. Let's get Chimera out of here. Dang. And then we'll have to try and get Whitby out of here. Nelson, we got this. Nelson's boarding. Let's get these guys out of here. And then we've got to get Whitby to the safe zone. I'm going to send Hood for the Jean Bart. Alright, we got the Whitby. Which actually means we get their 378 men back. So we could actually send some of those men over to the Nelson. As soon as we can get everybody else out of here. So it could might not be a complete loss. We'll get two French ships. We lost the mills. But we'll get two French ships out of this as long as we can get everybody to safety. Alright, Hood, slow down. Nobody else we can take off the Whitby. Grab the Jean Bart right here. Don't you get away. Can't take two more, too many more of those. How are we doing over here? All right, we're doing. Whitby actually has to go this way, and Nelson can help out. Oh, Jean Bart's got some damage here. Switch over to canister, try to kill some more of these soldiers on board. Darn it, we just can't seem to catch up. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Our soldiers are breaking. That's because of all the damage we're taking on this ship. Come on. How is this guy this fast? There we go. 
Slow down. Board him. Why are we not attempting to board? Man, I don't know what's going on here. All right, I'm gonna slow things down here so we can try to figure out the issue. Let's try this again. Slow down. There we go. Oh no, now he's gonna get ahead again. Uh, we just can't win with this thing. Somehow my order to match his speed went off. And we stopped matching the speed. The good news is we're headed toward the exit. So the minute I capture this thing, we can zip out of here. All right. Take two. Slow down, match his speed. Okay. That should go pretty fast. Beautiful. Minimal crew. Break off and get out of here. No more matching speed. Just go. Chimera's out. Get Jean Bart out of here. Hood out of here. We'll go back to solid shot so we can finish off the owl, hopefully. What's this over here? The Thorpe. I guess there were soldiers, or, uh, yeah, soldiers there we could have picked up. Meanwhile, we're trying to get Nelson and Whitby to safety, but it's going to take a long time to do that. Because they've got to go this way, and they've got to go a long way to get there. Here's the safe zone over here. It's not even with the wind. But the good news is these guys are pursuing me this way and they'll have to go dead against the wind to try and get back at the Whitby. So there's no way that's going to happen. Let's bring Jean Bart around this way. So now it's really just about escape, which we're about to have. All right, forget him. Oh, the USS Al surrendered. Hold on. Let's grab them. We could do that. Let's slow down. At least with the hood. We'll keep Jean Bart going. Send a detachment from the hood to go grab the owl. get underway again. Perfect. Now let's just get these guys out of here without taking any more damage. The line's right here, so I think we're good. And there's no way that his ships, now that they've pursued me all the way, there's no way they make it back to be able to intercept Whitby or Nelson. So I think we're home free. We lost the mills, but we came out ahead, for sure. All right, well, they did manage to uh, skirt along toward me. The, the wind direction changed. How convenient that the wind changed just in time to give them a chance to come after me. So I'm going to kind of 
keep Nelson sitting a little closer, but I think we're still okay. But yeah, the wind direction, instead of going north like it was, has suddenly gone toward the safe zone. So it helps me too, but it allowed him a chance to catch up to me. I think we'll be okay though. I don't see him getting at Whitby in time to be able to stop me. So we'll just keep these guys occupied just for a couple of minutes while we wait for Whitby to catch up and pass. It looks like we're going to be able to cause some pretty significant damage, at least to the USS Scout. Actually, if we can drive him into the safe zone, he ceases to be an issue. Wouldn't mind capturing the Alexander if, if Scout does manage to get out of here. Yep, well, it's going to take him five minutes. He'll probably turn around. Wow, Scout's going to get in the way, I think. Where's Whitby? Still back there a ways. Let's grab him, and then we'll just zip right across the line. I don't think Scout's going to be a, a threat to Whitby. Nelson's boarding. So what we'll do is we'll grab Alexander, and then we'll zip them both right across. That worked out beautifully. We're going to kill every last man. There's going to be nobody left on that ship. All right, get across, get Nelson across. So we end up grabbing three ships plus the Whitby. Probably could have gotten the scout too, but I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, Nelson and Alexander are safe. Scout is really no threat to Whitby, so Whitby will be safe. And that'll do it. Whitby probably could grab the scout. But I'm not going to bother with all of that. We're about to hit the safe zone. And we're going to come out, come out of this in really good shape. We more than compensated for the loss of the mills. So we grabbed a 52-gun Ariane, the 52-gun Jean Bart, 46-gun Alexander, 20-gun USS Owl. With the loss of one, what, 40-some gun, 40 or 44-gun Mills. Definitely came out ahead there. I'm pretty happy with that. We can even rename one of those ships Mills if we need to, uh, in honor of the one that we lost. But we come out ahead. We've got more guns. We've got bigger and better ships than we had before. Uh, let's take a look at those that we just grabbed. So Jean Bart is a uh, fifth rate. These are all fifth rate, I would guess. Alexander's a Hermione class. Good, good stuff. All right, so we're going to wrap it up right there. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. We'll see you in another week or so with the next episode. I apologize to those of you who want to see these more often. There's just too many other things going on, but if I have an opportunity, I'll try to do it a little quicker. So we'll see you again soon.